India has a rich history of scientific and technological advancements that date back thousands of years. Ancient Indian scientists made groundbreaking contributions in fields such as astronomy, mathematics, medicine, metallurgy, and more. Their work was characterized by a deep understanding of nature, keen observation, and innovative thinking. Many of these scientists developed their ideas and theories long before the same advancements were made in the West. Their contributions to the fields of science and technology have had a significant impact on the world and continue to be studied and admired today. Here are the names of the scientists and their inventions, which changed the world forever. Mathematics and Astronomy The value of pi was first calculated by Baud Heine. As you know, pi is useful in calculating the area and circumference of a circle. What is known as Pythagoras' theorem today is already found in Bodhain's Sulva Sutra, which was written several years before the age of Pythagoras. Bodhayana was the first one ever to arrive at several concepts in mathematics, which were later rediscovered by the Western world. Brahmagupta advanced mathematics to new levels in the 7th century. He applied place value to multiplication in a manner that is remarkably similar to how it is applied now. In mathematics, he introduced negative numbers and zero operations. He penned Brahma Sputa Siddhantika, which introduced our mathematical system to the Arabs. The brightest star of the 12th century was Bhaskarak Arya. He was born in Karnataka's Bijapur. His book Siddhanta Shiromani is well known. Lilavati, Arithmetic, Bijaganit, Algebra, Galadhaya, Sphere, and Grahaganit, Mathematics of Planets, are its four components. To solve algebraic equations, Bhaskara devised the Chakrawat method, also known as the cyclic method. 600 years later, European mathematicians rediscovered this technique and gave it the name inverse cycle. James Taylor, an Englishman, translated Lilavati in the 19th century and made this outstanding work widely known. Aryabhata was a 5th century mathematician, astronomer, astrologer, and physicist. He was a pioneer in mathematics. At the age of 23, he wrote Aryabhatiya, a summary of the mathematics of his time. This academic study has four sections. The first section describes how the alphabet represents large decimal numbers. The second section finds difficult problems from contemporary mathematics topics such as number theory, geometry, trigonometry, beach ganita, algebra, etc. remaining. Two sections are dedicated to astronomy. Aryabhata showed that zero is not just a number, it is both a symbol and a concept. His discovery of zero allowed Aryabhata to know the exact distance between Earth and Earth's moon. He was the first person to calculate the distance between Earth and the moon. The discovery of zero also opened up a new dimension for negative numbers. Apparently, Aryabhata also made great contributions to science, especially astronomy. In ancient India, the science of astronomy was well advanced. It was called Kagal Shastra. Kagal was the famous astronomical observatory at Nalanda, where Aryabhata studied. Ignoring the popular view that our planet Earth is immovable, Aryabhata declared his theory that the Earth is round and rotates on its own. He explained that the appearance of the sun moving from east to west is wrong. He also correctly stated that the moon and planets shine by reflected sunlight. He also gave a scientific explanation to clarify the phenomenon of solar and lunar eclipses that the eclipse was not caused by Rahu or Ketu or another Rakshasa demon. In the Jain literature between 500 and 100 BC, mathematics is elaborately described. Quadratic equations were easily solved by Jain gurus. In a very intriguing way, they have also discussed exponents, logarithms, algebraic equations, series, set theory, and fractions. Ganit Sara Sangraha, the earliest maths textbook in its modern form, was written by Jain Guru Mahavirakarya around 850 AD. He also provided a description of the present procedure for finding the least common multiple, LCM, among the given numbers. Indians were so aware of it before John Napier made it known to the rest of the world. Ancient Indians had an accurate calendar, and a better understanding of climate and rainfall for timely sowing and selecting the harvest, fixing the dates of seasons and festivals, and navigating, calculating time and distribution of horoscopes for use in astrology. Knowledge of astronomy, 
especially knowledge of tides and stars, is of great commercial importance, due to the duty to cross oceans and deserts at night. As in mathematics, ancient Indians contributed to the knowledge in science too. A scientist from the Vaisheshika school, one of the six schools of Indian philosophy, Kunud lived in the 6th century. Alukya was his given name at first. He was given the name Kunud because, even as a young boy, he was fascinated with extremely tiny particles known as Kana. Any contemporary atomic theory may compete with his atomic theory. Kunud said that the Kanas, Anu or atoms, which cannot be seen by any human organ, make up the material cosmos. These cannot be separated further. They are hence unbreakable and indivisible. Of course, as you may already be aware, this is also what the current atomic theory states. Vera Hamihara was another well-known scientist of the ancient period in India. He lived in the Gupta period. Vera Hamihara made great contributions in the fields of hydrology, geology, and ecology. He was one of the first scientists to claim that termites and plants could be there. Indicators of the presence of underground water. He gave a list of six animals and 30 plants, which could indicate the presence of water. He gave very important information regarding termites, DMAC or insects that destroy wood, that they go very deep to the surface of the water level to bring water to keep their houses, bambies, wet. Another theory, which has attracted the world of science is the earthquake cloud theory given by Varamahira in his Brat Samhita. The 32nd chapter of this Samhita is devoted to signs of earthquakes. He has tried to relate earthquakes to the influence of planets, undersea activities, underground water, unusual cloud formation, and abnormal behavior of animals. Nagarjuna was a 10th century scientist. The main aim of his experiments was to transform base elements into gold, like the alchemists in the western world. Even though he was not successful in his goal, he succeeded in making an element with a gold-like shine. Till date, this technology is used in making imitation jewelry. In his treatise, Razrat Nakra, he discussed methods for the extraction of metals like gold, silver, tin, and copper. Medical Science in Ancient India Sisruta made significant contributions to surgery. The highest division of the healing arts and least liable to fallacies, in his opinion, was surgery. He used a dead body as a study tool for human anatomy. Over 1,100 illnesses are recorded in Sisruta Samhita, including 26 different types of fevers, 8 different types of jaundice, and 20 different types of urinary problems. Over 760 different plants are described. Every portion, including the roots, bark, juice, resin, and flowers, was employed. Even today, common household cures include ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, sesame, and pepper. The fields of rhinoplasty, plastic surgery, and ophthalmic surgery, cataract removal, were those in which Sisruta made the most significant contributions. Cutting one's nose and or ears was a typical punishment back then. The recovery of these or other limbs was a wonderful blessing. These procedures are precisely described step by step in the Sisruta Samhita. Surprisingly, Sisruta's procedures resemble those used by contemporary physicians performing plastic surgery. The Sisruta Samhita also lists 101 surgical equipment and their descriptions. A few major procedures conducted were the removal of the fetus from the womb, the repair of the damaged rectum, the removal of a bladder stone, etc. Churuk is considered the father of ancient Indian science of medicine. He was the Raj Vaidya, royal doctor, in the court of Kanishk. His Churuk Samhita is a remarkable book on medicine. It has the description of a large number of diseases and gives methods of identifying their causes as well as the method of their treatment. He was the first to talk about digestion, metabolism and immunity as important for health and so medical science. In Churuk Samhita, more stress has been laid on removing the cause of disease rather than simply treating the illness. Churuk also knew the fundamentals of genetics. Yoga is a branch of Ayurveda that was created in ancient India to treat physical and mental ailments without the use of drugs. The Sanskrit literary work Yatra is where the word yoga originates. Joining the mind to the inner self after detaching it from the outer subjects of senses is its literal meaning. Its origins can be found in the Vedas, just as all other sciences. 
It defines chit as the condition of equilibrium attained once a person's consciousness has dissipated all of their thoughts, feelings, and wants. It unleashes the power that elevates and cleanses awareness so that it might experience heavenly realization. Yoga combines mental and physical practice. Hath Yoga is the name for physical yoga.